Hello, and welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raber. Boy, have we got a lot on our plate this week. We have our usual, what do I get for my money, MLS stats, restaurant review, house of the week, three holes of golf, and the first thing we want to show you is we were invited by some people that I've worked with to the Lynn Haven Monthly Social, and it was an Elvis impersonator. Now, we, we had no idea what to expect. We didn't know if it was somebody in, the, in their neighborhood singing or what, but boy, were we surprised. Wait till you hear this guy. It was fantastic. We really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you so much, Mike and Marianne, for inviting me and Cameraman. Speaking of Cameraman, he was out and about on Saturday to show you what was going on in the villages. Cameraman went was to Lake Sumter Landing. They were having the 5K running of the squares, and he got there to show the last few people walking or running over the finish line. And a lot of people do walk. It's mostly a family affair. There are a few runners, but uh, it was very interesting. Very well organized, Everybody, and to be no honest with you, today, we want to do it next year. I'll show you this one guy. He's all happy. He's almost done. There's no music, so everybody put those hands together. Make some noise. Woo, good job, sir. So if you don't have anything in your hands, I want to put those hands together. Group it up, make some noise. Our final people coming on through. They are celebrating a great day. Woo! After that, cameraman went over to Brownwood to see what the farmer's market was like. And lo and behold, there was another guy there singing like Elvis.
So cameraman went on to Spanish Springs where they have since November, they've had a market, a farmer's market, which they call Mercado, which means market in Spanish. And there were plenty of vendors there. And while he was there, he checked out the status of Blondie's. It is coming along really nicely. We wondered why it was taking so long, but now we understand. It wasn't just a little outside bar. I mean, this is a, a major ordeal, and it will be really, really nice when they open. And then he went back to Lake Sumter Landing where there was a craft fair, and he figured out right away why there weren't many people at Spanish Springs because everybody was at the craft fair. That craft fair is phenomenal. I mean, there are all kinds of different people selling their goods, their artwork. It is wonderful. It happens once a year. I couldn't attend this year because I was showing homes, but I do enjoy going. So now let's get on with what do I get for my money? And this time we have two very, very contrasting price tones. Hope you enjoy. Now, let's take a peek of the MLS stats from January the 8th through the 15th. 
sold this week. We have 30. Last week we had 23. Pending this week we have 33. And last week, 24. New listings, 46. Last week, 49. Price reductions, we've had 55. And last, last week, week we had... Last week, 42. We have nothing more to say. No, we have nothing to say. We have no words. Nothing, nothing to say. Thank you. When they come out, they always make me think that the number is the, the highest one. I think they want me to think it's 84 instead of 48. But, so, active homes on the market last week were 392. And this week, we have 403. We've gone over that 400 mark. There are more and more homes to choose from. So get busy looking. So we're very excited tonight. We're in Spanish Springs and we're going for the very first time to the new Italian steakhouse, Bella Vita. This is the outside, which is really nice. There's heaters. I think we are eating inside. Oh. <laughs> I am ordering the salmon Florentine. It comes with sauteed spinach white wine sauce, herb parmesan polenta, and seasoned vegetables. And cameraman is getting the pasta Milano, which is artichoke hearts, asparagus, and sun-dried tomatoes, white wine butter sauce, capellini pasta, which yummy. She just brought some bread. It looks absolutely delicious. And with the herbs and oil sauce here, can't wait to try that. We're at Bella Vita, and for those of you that don't know, this is the third day that it's been open, and it's packed, and it looks like things are going very well. our server and she's done a wonderful job. She's got a great personality and she has just brought some very good looking food. Our food has just arrived and my salmon looks awesome. I love it. It's a big piece of fish and cameraman's looks very yummy. I'm going to go ahead and have a bite of his. <laughs> Everybody loves this when I do it. <laughs> mm. very, very good. That is wonderful, cameraman. Now, I have a little bite of my salmon. That is so tasty. Very, very good. I am thoroughly enjoying my dinner. The vegetables are awesome and it's on uh, polenta. I mean, wonderful. This has only been open three days and they've got it down pat. Cameraman's really enjoying his as well. Actually, cameraman had a taste of mine for a change and he loved it. Another beer needed? No. Well, she's already taken my plate, but I guarantee you there was nothing left on it. Um, 
it was so good. I mean, the salmon and just the right amount of polenta and uh, the vegetables with it was delightful. Cameraman's not doing too bad over there either. So I have to give this a very strong 10. It's excellent. I highly recommend for you to try it. Cameraman, what about you? We actually ordered some limoncello cheesecake that our server highly recommended, but it's so good they sold out. So we are getting a build your own cannoli. So this should be interesting. Actually, it's a deconstructed cannoli. Wait till you see this. And I've never had a cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious. I am going to try a little bite of it. Maybe. Boy, that is good. Delicious. Now it's time for House of the Week. And I think you're going to really like this one. It's in a great area, beautiful home, and well-priced. Welcome to 1864 Williamsburg Avenue. We're in the village of Ponciana, and this is a 2004 Oleander. Let's go inside and take a look. Ooh. I can tell I'm gonna love it already. Soaring ceiling, I love the paint color in here. It's very light and bright. This floor is really pretty. It's different. All the floors are light. I like that. This is beautiful. This is an oleander. Let's come look at the kitchen. Oh, I love how nice and bright this is. This is so pretty. The white cabinets with the crown on top and the soft gray. And this is called quartzite leather countertop. It is very, very pretty. There's a lot of movement here. This countertop goes really well with the cabinets, the stainless steel appliances and beautiful gray colored walls. This is pantry with full out shelving. Got a nice little coffee bar area here. You've got quite a bit of counter space, especially adding this. That's very nice. Right over here is um, a little breakfast eating area. And through here is the laundry room. Plenty of space. These look very nice. And you have cabinets up here on each side and a window to make it nice and bright. Out here is the garage. This garage hat is a uh, epoxy floor. You have pull down stairs. The refrigerator out here does not stay. There is, um, the water purifier, the Nova filters there. And the golf cart is offered for sale separately. From here, let's go take a peek at the lanai. And it's really nice having a glass door here.
because it allows more light. I love this floor. It's tile made to look like brick. And look how spacious this is since it wraps around. I love these fans. How cool are they? These are very different. This feels nice and sunny out here. You have a, a good size area out here in which you can uh, barbecue, which is kind of hidden from the wind. And you can enter in this way into the dining area. This is another very pretty room. I like how they have it decorated and this is an addition. You have, they've put cabinets all through here. It's kind of like having a built-in buffet. Very nice. Again, I love this countertop. So pretty. Wow. I love the feel of this house. It just feels cozy, beautiful, light, very clean. Let's go check out the primary bedroom. Double doors, I love. This room is beautiful. I'll, I'll, it's a very soft blue, a beachy blue. You've got huge tree ceiling. And I should mention that there is no popcorn. This is all knocked down. I don't think I've seen a floor any prettier than this. It's luxury vinyl plank. It's beautiful. Got plenty of light in here with all the windows. And through here is your primary bath. You have a pocket door for privacy, dual closets that are double hung, plenty of space. You have a tiled walk-in shower with a seat. You have a double vanity with that beautiful countertop again, and a row of drawers, and a separate water closet with another pocket door. Very nice bathroom, and it complements this gorgeous bedroom. This is very spacious, and something else I love. Double doors. I think that just looks so classy. It's beautiful. Now, let's go look at the guest area. In the guest area, here in the middle, you've got a really nice size closet. One of the things I love about this floor plan is how big this guest bathroom is. You've got this beautiful countertop again. There's a lot of room in here. It's very nice. And the two guest room. Both of them have double windows. And the same flooring throughout. Very, very pretty. This is being used as a, I guess, a, a den or office, but um, I have seen plenty of room for queen size bed, nightstands, dresser. You do have closets in both of, of the bedrooms. I just noticed that um, in the other room was blue, and this one's a sand color, I guess, change of mood. It's very nice. Good size closet. You know, I haven't really talked about the living room and how spacious it is. This is very comfortable feeling. I like it. I like that you've got the two chairs over there by the window. Perfect place to sit and read. 
the tall ceilings just really make this feel like a large home. This is very nice. Yeah, I want to show you this coat closet. It's a good size. And all these niches make it really interesting. The roof and water filter and appliances have recently been replaced. And to sum up this beautiful Oleander, it's three bedrooms, two baths, in the village of Ponciana. It has 1695 square feet, beautiful countertops. It is offered with no bond for the price of, it's time for you to guess, $4299. If you have interest, call, text, or email me. I'm sure this beauty is gonna go fast. See, I told you you were gonna like it. So now let's go play some golf. We're at Sand Hill Golf Course today. It is an executive course. On episode 92, we did holes one, three, and five. Today, we're gonna do two, four, and six. We're starting off on hole two, and it is a little longer, par three. It's 150 yards. And it looks like there's a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Could be. Bunkers on the left. Um, bumps on the right. Hopefully I can stay somewhere in the middle. It's January and they're showing the outside temperature is 58, but that bright sun sure warms you up. Silly old cameraman's got shorts on. I'm not that crazy. Well, it's straight. I don't think it's going to get there, though. Bad bounce. Bad, bad bounce. At least the sun's not blaring in my eyes from this direction. was robbed. This is hole number four and it's quite a difficult hole. As you can see there's a huge bunker to the left, I mean to the right. If you're short uh, you're gonna go in there or if you hit it left you're gonna roll down the hill across the path because it's quite steep. Looking good! I lost it in the shadow. I don't think it quite got there, but hey, it was straight. <laughs> but let's see if I can get it to run down. Ah. I leave myself these ridiculous putts. Sheesh. Oh well, get close. Not that way. <laughs> this is not my day. This is hole number six. It's a very short hole. It's downhill. Somehow it doesn't look like you could get in a lot of trouble, but <laughs> it usually proves me wrong. So let's see what we can do. Well, 
it didn't quite make it. All right. I'm surprised. Get up there. Any other time, it'd run like crazy. Tell you what, I think I've been eating too many bananas. So I am playing like a monkey. <laughs> no offense, if any monkeys are watching. Whew. Well, as I said, it's a little chilly today, and I'm going to blame that on my bad golf. <laughs> but the sun is out, the greens are in fabulous shape. I mean, it really was fun playing the greens even though I couldn't putt. So quite a few ball marks on the green so if you're not repairing your divots please do so. I really hope you enjoyed that. That is typical of what's going on on a Saturday in January in the villages. Well of course people here that live in the villages say that we have six Saturdays and one Sunday. And I'll tell you what, it certainly does feel that way. We are 100 subscribers away from having 2,000. We really need your help on this. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost anything. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. That helps us as well. And if you're planning a trip down, don't forget, let me know. I'm helping people all the time. I have several coming this month. And we talk, find out what their interests are, where they're best suited. And I have found many, many people, lovely homes, and they're happy. So don't forget. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Until then, Bye. Three bedroom, two bath. I think I've said that already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful pocket doors. I mean, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> we enjoyed, no.